It was on this day, the 20th of May in 1953, that Celtic lifted the Coronation Cup against all the odds, it has to be said, as the club were invited to take part because of their pulling power, not because of any skill factor on the pitch. The trophy was competed for by eight top clubs from north and south of the border, but the Celts had only hobbled to eighth place in a 16-team league that season. However, they were to turn the form book on its head. In the first game, the Hoops beat Arsenal 1-0 before a crowd of 59,500, with Bobby Collins scoring the goal before Bertie Peacock, a new signing Neely Mockin, scored in a 2-1 win over Manchester United in the semi-final, watched by 73,000 supporters. Out of a tournament involving Rangers, Aberdeen, Arsenal, Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur, and Newcastle United, the organisers of the Coronation Cup certainly wouldn't have been expecting an all-green final, but that's exactly what happened as Celtic met Hibernian at Hampden. A crowd of 117,060 clipped through the turnstiles of the National Stadium and saw a spectacular goal from Mockin give Celtic a 1-0 lead at half-time. And despite sustained Hibs pressure in the second half, a Jimmy Walsh goal made it 2-0 to Celtic and the trophy was theirs to keep.